Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about theoretical x right price, how to calculate and what it is. Guys, I'm the Commerce Specialist. Welcome to my channel where you'll find videos covering learning outcomes of various academic qualifications and professional certifications, including life-changing business ideas and hacks. I humbly request you, please subscribe my channel because 75% of my viewers are not yet subscribed. So please subscribe my channel. Press the bell notification button so that you get all my new videos on a timely basis. And if you like the content of my video, don't forget to share it with your dear and near ones. So let's discuss what is theoretical x right price. So before we talk about theoretical x right price, we need to understand there is something known as right issue. Now what is right issue? Assuming I'm a public limited company, I've already sold and issued shares to my shareholders let's say 1 million shares already and after some time the company wants to sell more share additional shares so it is always important for a company if they want to sell additional shares the first opportunity should be given to the existing shareholders rather than to outsiders that's how the name right comes into being right means it is the right of the existing shareholders that the company if they want to sell additional shares they should be asked first given an opportunity the right first if they're not interested company can sell it to any tom dick and harry in that case so that is what we call as right shares a company who has already issued shares in the past they want to sell additional shares so what they do is they give their existing shares an offer if they want to buy additional shares well and good otherwise they will sell it to the general public now in right issues most of the time if the company shares are in demand uh, what happens is when the company announces right every shareholder they want to buy the shares so assuming we have 1 million shareholders and the company only wants to sell 50,000 shares so it's not possible to sell 50,000 shares to all of them because the total number of shares is 50,000 so what the company does is they prorate it like this Fatma LLC makes a right issue of one for every four shares already held which means if you are a shareholder if you have four shares already in the company then you'll be entitled to one new shares it's not that if you're selling 50,000 shares all 50,000 shares will give it to you but what about other shareholders so most of the crime company when they announce right they announce it like this one for every four existing shares two for every five one for every five so that a fair distribution of right shares can be done another thing you need to understand is most of the time when a company is offering right shares they are not free of cost unlike bonus shares right shares are also sold and the selling price could be the market value could be the power value or it could be at a discounted amount most of the time but not necessary whenever a company announces a right issue it's at a special rate so if you look at this question is Fatma LLC makes a right issue for one new share for every four shares held. The share price before the right issue was $10 each and the exercise price of right issue is 6.5 which means company wants to sell shares. The value of the share is $10 but this shares when we are issuing now the right issue if the existing shareholders want only the existing shareholders they can get it for $6, $6.5 per share. Otherwise, the shares will be sold to outsiders. Now, one thing you need to remember, if you are an existing shareholder and the company is offering a right issue, it's not mandatory for you to buy. If you want, you can exercise the right, buy the shares at a discounted price or whatever price it is, or you can just let it go and let the company sell it to anybody. So here in the question, we need to calculate theoretical x right price okay the formula is basically face value of all outstanding shares plus total cash received from exercise of right divided by number of shares outstanding means already issued before right plus number of shares issued in exercise of right what does this mean 
let me make it very simple for you we're giving one new right shares for every four shares already held so these four shares which are already held by the shareholders they cost ten dollars so if you multiply you get the value of forty dollars so now they're getting one new share and the price is 6.5 so when you multiply it you get obviously 6.5 so what we do we add the number of shares here 5 this becomes the denominator and we add this this becomes 46.5 so theoretical x right price is actually we divide 46.5 by 5 and we get 9.3 dollars this is theoretical x right price now what does this 9.3 dollars mean this means if i am a shareholder i have four shares already but there are 10 dollars each if i buy one new share at 6.5 what will be my average cost of all the shares average cost of five shares after the right issues it will be 9.3 most of the time, most of the time, your theoretical x right price will be less than the price of shares before exercise of right. So if you want to link this calculation with the formula here, this is actually this. Face value of all outstanding shares before right, if you're talking about four shares, the value was this. Then we are talking about cash received from excess of right. So obviously you're talking about one new shares we are giving. How much we are receiving here? So this is in terms of one share. You can calculate in terms of all the shares as well. But the answer will come to 9.3. In addition to calculating theoretical at right price, or you can say whenever we calculate theoretical at right price, we also have to calculate the bonus fraction. And the bonus fraction is calculated like this. We divide the price before right by the theoretical x right price. So the bonus fraction will come to 1.075. Now this bonus fraction is applied to all the periods and will affect all the shares and issue prior to the right and will also affect the corresponding EPS. Why we do this? Because this is a requirement as per IS 33 EPS. If you, have, if you have any question relating to EPS and if you don't know what is EPS, you can watch my video. I have made a detailed video on EPS IS 33. And you are also asked sometime to restate comparatives. If that is the case, we use the reciprocal of this. That is 9.3 divided by 10. This is for restatement purposes. Again, as per IS 33 EPS, earning per share. So guys, if you have any question relating to how theoretical x right price is calculated, what it is, any other comment, leave it in the comment section. I will respond to you. And if you like this video, please share it with your dear and near ones so that others can also benefit. If not yet subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification button so that you get my videos on a timely basis. Thank you so very much for your precious time. Take care of yourself. Love you all.